61 News at 5 starts now. A slippery commute across Connecticut. It was a day to bring out the heavy equipment. I'm Matt Karen reporting in Newington. We'll give you a look at how the weather impacted the roads and small businesses. And take a break. The CDC announcing their new guidance on masks. Details of that new guidance and what it means for businesses and schools. Now let's take President Biden announces his nominee, Federal Appeals Court Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, to be the first black woman on the U.S. Supreme Court. We're going to talk to the dean of UConn's law school about the historic nomination. Well, the cold is back. Governor Lamont activating the severe cold weather protocol from Friday until Tuesday. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Brent Hart. And I'm Jen Bernstein. Prepare. It's going to be cold once again. We want to toss things over to meteorologist Ryan Breton with the latest. Hi, Jen and Brent. The storm moving out, but definitely the next phase of this will be the cold, which really starts to settle in tonight. We picked up several inches of snow in northern Connecticut, but it really was a story of sleet in southern parts of the state, which really didn't amount out to a whole lot. Right now in Hartford, you can see the clouds that are in place, and there have been a few snow showers moving through the Hartford area. The sleet is now gone. The atmosphere cold enough for all